Let's go. All right, okay. Hello, good afternoon, Nigeria. Good afternoon, Lagos. This is your program on radio talking about CIPR Weekly on Lasso FM 95.7. Your solidly unique radio station and lively radio station. If you are just joining us, the program still remains Center for Information, Press, and Publications of Lagos State and University. This is what we call CIPR Weekly. And this very edition is coming to you live and direct on Good Friday. You know, this Friday is very good, and we are all in the studios ready to fly. My name is Gladi Geshalan Wajud Daoud. I'm not going to be alone on this journey. You know, it's always. Um, the masters are always around. Good afternoon, masters. I like to call you masters, you know. Uh, anyway, it's good for you. My name is Nii Jari Ogbe. Good afternoon. Okay, it's good for me, not good for you. <laughs> Both. <laughs> Master. Well, every Friday you, you don't work alone. Okay. Not like, like you're Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be in Liverpool this time uh, around. Uh, but. See, why are you saying that now? <laughs> good, that, afternoon. Good, now. good afternoon. Okay. Uh, last good afternoon, Lagos. Happy Good Friday. It's, mm. it's, it's good to be here. Yeah, it's good to be here. Of course, it's a special one. Very first edition in this month of April 2021. Uh, that's it's Good Friday. It's good to be here. Well, let's quickly say this. We are not working alone because we have those who are working behind the camera talking about uh, Kunle Adekoya and the two Dumo Kodri. These guys are always good and doing their best to ensure that yeah, whatever we say on radio, you guys even watch it live and direct on Facebook. Okay, what we do, we have done the introduction. Let's quickly do the highlights that are, f I mean, talking points of whatever I want to talk about, the issues, the events, talking about Lagos University, not Lagos University alone, entertainment and sport as well. But if you're ready, join us on this journey. The program is still CIPR Weekly. Okay, Governor Sowulu sets up decision panel on Lasso VC selection. That one is coming from the seat of power, Alausa. Lasso School of Communication host 52 Boali two-day conference in honor of former Dean. Yes. We only celebrate our own former dean, Professor Edu Shobali. He was once the Commissioner of Education in Lagos State, and we celebrate him at 80. Sensation of Lasso staff on enrollment of Lagos State Health Scheme. You know, I told you it's not about entertainment or education alone when it comes to health. So we talk about what would benefit our staff, and this one is coming next week after the uh, Easter break. Faculty of Arts celebrates Women's History Month. Yes, women. These women are flying, talking about Kondi Wiala and other people who are doing their best to ensure that they put the women on the, on the front burner. The ICT, Art with Information Retriever and Data Extraction Service. Lasso beats you the lag, all the varieties at Nance Commission. That's why we always say we are Lasso, we are proud, and these guys are very proud of what they have done and achieved. Okay, talking about sport now, Lasso Trailblazers to play Unilag. Lautech in Aya Incision Football League Cup. That's coming. All the details coming very soon. I will be flying together. And don't forget Super Eagles of Nigeria. Just qualify for the next year. Um, Cup of Nations in Cameroon. Beating Lesotho by three goals to nothing. All this and more will be coming after the short break. Don't go away. The program is still. Last week's April Weekly right here on 95.7. Last week's FM. No man. No matter where you go, remember the road that will lead you home. That will lead you All right, guys, we are welcome back. Let's quickly get into the business of the day. This very biggest news that came in during the week and it's talking, I mean, it's talking point for everybody that Lagos State uh, government or Lagos State governor, Mr. Babadide uh, Sonwulu, has set up a special decision panel to look into the matters, I mean, as it's perfect the selection process of uh, the, the last VC. Is that contentious? Uh, well, you know, uh, in the wisdom of the Lagos State government, mm -hmm. and that, that I think um, the governor has really acted, uh, who are we here to fault whatever the governor has done? We won't and, fault. Uh, we won't fault. We are know, just the, trying the, to the, analyze. The, the process, to, mm -hmm. to some extent, at least to those of us that are within here, we were really awaiting uh, one of the, the first three mm -hmm. to be named. But, um, you know, uh, they always say uh, our own way 
it's not definitely the way of the, uh, mm. the, the governor. So the mm. governor has decided in his own wisdom to go by the way of setting up a visitation panel. It's happening for the very first time in the history mm. of Lagos State University. As and, regards uh, the selection process yes, of Yes, VC. yes. Um, so the only thing we can only hope for is that this uh, new direction mm. will definitely fish us the best of a uh, mm. decision. Okay, the new direction will mm. give us a path to really see that, yeah, what you have done, or we are doing is all in the best interest of Lagos absolute, University. Absolute. Okay, Shane, let me ask you now. Let me put it, Let me put this one to you. Do you think this is coming at the right time? Well, um, the selection process has dragged for so long, mm. if, you, if you like. Uh, there was the first one, mm. and there was the second one, and while we were hoping and waiting that there is a, there's an announcement to the effect that social person will be the VC, and this is coming up again, and uh, like um, Sajeria said, we can only uh, trust in the judgment of the governor. We, he has the mandate to the visitor to the university, and I believe that he will always take the best decision for the Lagos State University. So uh, we trust his judgments, and we believe that those men and women, uh, I have their list here. We have um, Professor Bami Tale Omoli, Professor Ayo Lukotu. That should be the former VC of who you? Yes, mm-hmm. Professor okay. Joseph Ajenka, Olujimi Olukoya, Lawa Pedro, and Fumiro Lajide. Mm-hmm. These are men and women of repute in Lagos State, and we believe that um, whatever they will be doing with regards to the invitation panel will come out ultimately for the good of the university. The last five years have been glorious. We've made so many achievements. We can only pray that we are able to consolidate on this achievement, and this is the direction we are going now. So let's support the. And, and mm-hmm. using that uh, medium, the panel has called for memoranda, memoranda from yeah, members, from of, from the members sta- of the stakeholders. Yeah. So, please, if you are a lasso staff or a stakeholder, Student, and you have mm-hmm. yes, and you have anything that Alumni could help, help this uh, this panel, please please submit to the to the necessary quotas. Okay, on that note, we want to wish the panel the best of deliberations as they look into the the matter as it relates to the selection process of Lagos University and other things that could make this university to fly than the second position that we still occupy oh. when it comes to the rating. Uh-huh. Okay, all the best. Quickly away from that one, this time is round. It's about celebration, about our uh, last month, the former dean of uh, Faculty of Science, Professor Ajetun, will be retired at 70. And this time around, the very pioneer dean of School of Communication at Lagos University, one time commissioner of education during the era of uh, Ashwaji Balatin, as governor of Lagos State, was honored by his own School of Communication, where he started as a dean with a two-day conference. Jerry, I guess you were at that event. Uh, and, um, I, 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 was, I was there at right. the initial stage. And mm. uh, in between this uh, celebration, we have the... Uh, former Dean uh, for Culture of Education, uh, in person, if I'm not mistaken, that's uh, Professor Basirat Damoli. Mm. She clocked 70 or so. Oh, and really? She retired. Okay, that's uh, so congratulations to her. It, it has been a kind of a celebration time for mm. us at Lagos State these University. Are, these are the big, meritorious these services. Are the big people of Lasso. Yes, meritorious services being celebrated. Yes. They are coming to the School of Communication. I don't see uh, if there's any better way mm. for us to celebrate a, for a pioneer dean of the School of Communication. The event was uh, held for two days. And then uh, we have uh, eminent personalities in attendance, in particular the former vice chancellor of Lagos State University, in person of uh, Professor Abisogoli. And the keynote speaker was there also, I think a former deputy vice chancellor academic from UI, mm. and uh, who did justice to the keynote address there. So it was uh, a moment uh, of a kind of a mirror like situation mm. whereby the uh, man, the celebrant, uh, was able to see himself through uh, the people that I were in attendance. A lot of it was an hybrid. Uh, 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 program uh, people connected online and some people were there physically at the three one. I think she will be able to give us a, uh, a could detail. Your thoughts on this very one? Two minutes. Yes, I had the honor of anchoring that program. Um, it came up on Tuesday and Wednesday um, this week, and it was really a success. It is the f- it was the fifth edition of the program. Um, before now, other universities, Covenant University, Caleb University, OOU. And uh, for a big university in Sierra Leone, had hosted mm. um, the um, Shobo Ali conference mm. uh, in celebration of the man. And this year's one is significant for the fact that Baba is 80 this year. Mm, and uh, uh, yes, <laughs> octogenarian. So I like that. I like that. Baba. Baba. And, 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 <laughs> I pray know, we all <laughs> coming, that coming to the, Yes, that that's our prayer too. And coming, coming back to home. The, coming back home. <laughs> you know, to the fact that he, um, this is this is where he, he really yeah, really yeah. started. And uh, and yeah, you know yeah. what what was significant for me was mm. the fact that. Professor Lee, the former de- uh, uh, vice chancellor of the university, who chaired the occasion, really said that if you are talking about the founding fathers of Lasso, mm. you are talking about Baba 
Shubo Ali, that he's one of the founding fathers. He, he was the one alongside the governor then, uh, that is the Baba Jakwande, mm. you know, who passed away, may God rest his soul, Amen. a few Amen. weeks Amen. ago, who really brought the last white there, you know, to the front burner, and then we now have what we have today. So we celebrate him and we wish him well. Okay, we celebrate Baba. Baba Idu Shubo Ali. I think he deserves a round of applause. Well, yes, for one us time co- Commissioner of, of Education in Lagos yes. and a pioneer and a special team. Advisor, yes, so. special advisor. He's, he has, I mean, he has worked the talk and he has done very well. Working tall at 80, we wish you all the best in life and I hope we live more so that we can tap from the word of respect. Mm-hmm. Away from celebration now, this time around it's about sensitization. When you talk about health, they say health is wealth and those who have health can equally have that word. So, Lagos, the gov- Lagos University is cooking something and that thing is coming next after the Easter break. So, what is it all about? <laughs> Last <laughs> Lagos State Health Scheme. I think in the word of, uh, if I'm not mistaken, maybe she once, he once said that uh, it's only the living that can celebrate. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> if the dead can celebrate. Anyway. No, of course. Nobody has been to so, heaven before. So. <laughs> it's only the living that can celebrate. So, so. The, the, the truth is that uh, mm. is, a, is a very good uh, step in the right direction. Mm. Health is what you have, you have rightly said and uh, all of us we have to key into this is a new program is a new uh, uh scheme for yeah. us to really uh, uh appreciate and definitely be part of uh you said it's going to start by next week and um, what we can just encourage the university community members of staff is just that the, all of us we have to key into this mm. we have to welcome it we okay. have to give it all it takes all of us so that all of us we have to be part of it so that um mm. we can be assured of our future okay by next week we well, have this the, sensation the, the, the program sensation has been on for quite mm. a while now mm. um informing members of the university to really keen to this and um they are coming full force to Lagos state university and they'll be doing that from precisely on tuesday 6th april so the sensation will go on from that day and run through till 3rd of may um 2021 and the faculties and department and all that we have a timetable mm. for them okay. so the bulletin uh is bearing the information they can risk get right. of it. okay let's quickly take this one before we take another breather so um this summary is uh, it has to do with women women are fantastic people we have a lot of them recently nigeria just got uh, 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 uh dr konji wala into the director general of the, the world trade organization and we have so many women who are doing very well in their choosing career field. In, so, including my mother. Even my mother as well. Too, too. <laughs> she worry about you. <laughs> so, so, so this time around, yeah, Faculty of Arts <laughs> celebrates a woman's history month. Well, the, 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 the women have to be celebrated. Mm. Uh, sometimes I always want to question, uh, you know, I might to question God anyway, but uh, I always want to ask this question that uh, God said we are the head. But uh, if you look at the whole scenario, if you look at the whole process, you see that women are always there. They will be the last to sleep. They will be the first to wake. They will definitely keep it. The children, the husband, look, do a lot of things. Mm. But still, we still say that they are to uh, assist the men. But uh, by and large, we have to celebrate them. Uh, you understand? I joined the old women in the world to celebrate their day. I, I celebrated my mom on Facebook also. And then we have to give it to those people that have really done well in, in the history of our country, even in the world. We're not uh, leaving out those people that are dead, like uh, late Dora Kunhile. If mm. you look at what he has done, and this woman... We have uh, a woman too at the UN, Amina Lawal. Uh, a lot of them are doing very great. That died in the course of... Uh, Ebola, Adadevo. 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 So you see, all of them, they are like that. And what about some that women, former com- minister for finance too? And some women, women are even doing well fantastically yes. well in mm. politics. Mm. Give it to... Uh, even in sports, Anza Oshuala. Anza Oshuala is doing very well, yes. Give it to the likes of them. So we is is a good way, one for us to celebrate mm. uh, all our women. Okay, what men can do, the women uh, too are rising well, up and, to and the And with the fact that um, it's also coming when we had the International Women's um, Day mm. just a few weeks all ago. Right. So, well, that's day too. I think recently they did that. Yes. So I uh, thank you for Koti over for having this. Yes, we t- quickly take a break. When we come back, we continue from where we 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 stop. This is your favorite program, Radio Sierra Weekly. Don't go away. No matter. No matter where you go, remember the road that will lead you home. That will lead you home.
All right, we are back. Guys, are you ready for this second leg of the program? Yes, second leg. Let me call it second leg. For football, we have set first and second leg. So, are you ready? Okay, this is yes, a football match. <laughs> <laughs> Who, who's the umpire? <laughs> I don't know the ref. Okay, Kule is the referee. So, which club is Shea belonging to? <laughs> Liverpool. Now. Oh, what about me? Liverpool. You. <laughs> yeah, all these me and that. Okay, guys, let's quickly just do this again. The ICT out with information retriever and data extraction service. service. What does that say, Lagos University? Well, um, everyone that uses um, technology gadgets precisely, you will discover that one of the things that you don't want to ever encounter is to lose very vital information, um, vital data on your system, whether your phone or your laptop or whatever. But that will always happen sometime, whether due to your negligence or due to an error or something. It will always happen. So um, when that happens, who do we run to? Last week, there's a solution now, mm. and that solution is the ICT. So the ICT, they are doing well. They are doing weary. You must commend them. So now one of the latest innovation they are coming up with is the fact that if you lose a data they you can least get in touch with them and they will help you retrieve uh, so, so whether your system crashed or your phone crashed or you lost a, a, anything on your phone just get in touch with the ICT and uh, directory of uh, ICT under the headship of a uh, doctor Tony Nikumai. so contact them and they will help you retrieve whatever data you might have lost and for now it is free so okay. um, I mean that is now a good one. it is free. That is the icing on the cake, and this one comes and and, and also uh, just recently there was also the um, application online application portal that was developed by ICT, uh, whereby there is no need for you to apply on pay, uh, using paper for whatever document you want to apply for situation. paperless situation. So that is there now, and then there's the pay arena too. Uh, where you can so those are that's innovations great. from ICT that's great. and that's great. We okay. must comment thank them. you so much the ICT for this Lagos State University and this one concerns Lagos State University students so they have done a lot of competition in the past and they always come back with uh, the head so high and this time around they call it National Association of Nigerian Students Zone is this Zone C or Zone D now and they beat all commerce to the to that event is I think it was a debate yes and they beat Unilag they beat other universities and it was a glorious outing for Lagos State University it, it, it was I think it's happening it uh, it happened for the very first time in the history of Atlas mm. and then uh, I'm not too surprised because uh, the former president of the student union who is now the zona coordinator of uh, Nance Zone D in person of uh, Kapo Samuel Olawale uh, was the brain behind this he has done it at Lagos State University, and we were able to achieve a lot of successes uh, in this period when he was on campus. And then he decided to take that kind of initiative down to the um, western zone of Nans, and uh, it was a success also. And uh, it's not surprising that Lagos State University emerged as the uh, best uh, institution in that competition. Now, if you look at it, uh, we have the background, we have the uh, 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 pedigree uh, in, the, in the rating of THE. Uh, so last year, 2020, it was Lasso that came second behind UI. And this very one that has just been done again, we came uh, uh, second best mm. of, uh, of university and in Nigeria. So, university economics or something. Yes. yes. And so if you look at that uh, pedigree of Lagos State University, you, want to, you definitely want Lasso to always be at the top. Mm. And it's not surprising when the result was released uh, sometimes a some few days ago, and it was Lasso uh, that came first. And uh, we can only congratulate those men and uh, women that really did uh, Lagos State University proud in that competition. All right. This one thank you so much from one commission to another but this one around it's about sports i remember the last time about two years ago lagos university took place took part in this competition and uh, the quarter final they lost by three uh, two goes to three on aggregate two uh oau it was and played uh, yes i was at the first <laughs> leg in, and our guys I really, really did, yeah they did very well <laughs> so but this time around lagos university is going to be playing the host from 19th april to 23rd as we go into this year uh, yeah, this year's uh, higher institution football league and the local organizing committee is already working on this very very one Yes, um, when you talk of competitions, whether academic, recreational, whatever, you can always count on Lasso to come out tops. And um, last year, the IFL, we did very well. Mm, two we years win. ago, yes. Oh, two we years ago, yes. We got to the quarterfinal. We yes. got to the quarterfinal, um, uh, and by some uh, magic, we, mm. we, we crashed. <laughs> no, we, we, we won at home. We won at home, but, but we, we lost, lost away, yes, and so that was enough for, we, for our opponent mm. too. But this time around, uh, I, I'm sure that we are coming victorious this time around. Mm. We are hosting to win, if Amen. you like. Amen. Yeah, so, um, you like you have said, like you have said, the competition is starting from the 19th uh, of, of April 
and we run all till 23rd to of talk, April. Yes. And uh, last week is hosting the venue uh, is the sports center. Yes, yeah. a sports center, and we have quite a number of teams here, about 16 teams there, about coming to Lasso to, to, to play the competition. And for Lasso, um, I mean, that is what we are really interested in. Lasso is hosting, is playing Unilag uh, on the 28th, 28th of uh, mm. April, which is a Tuesday. And of course, by the, f- uh, the two days later, which is on the 22nd, on Thursday, we are also playing Lautech. And uh, those are the teams in our group. And mm. of course, from that group stage, one, one, one team we can we always, yes, uh, yes. there will be. So we are hoping that we host to, to win or to qualify from that group if you like mm-hmm. and then take it a step further from there. All right, thank you. This one concerns the Super Eagles of Nigeria. You know, they play two matches, I mean, to qualify for the AFCON in Cameroon next year without losing a match, you know. I mean, even before the last match, the Super Eagles were up there, they beat uh, Benin Republic. But significantly, this is a time where Germany, in 20, 20 years, they have not lost a single match, but then they lost to Macedonia 2-1 in the a World Cup qualifying series. So, Super Eagles now in Cameroon. What are we going to be doing on that general? Well, if you want to look at it from the paper, you want to say that last, uh, I said last, <laughs> Super <laughs> Eagles should come out uh, victorious. They mm. should be able to pick the Afghan uh, trophy and then uh, use that to secure uh, the ticket for the World Cup. Mm. But, uh, you know, if you look at the performances of the Super Eagles player in the recent times, I still want to believe that they still need uh, some level of uh, uh, co- commitment and uh, so that they can really prove that all these uh, two victories, successive victories recorded, uh, they, are not, they are not so, flukes. But yeah. we, what we're looking at is that they should uh, replicate the, 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 the victorious outings in the last two matches when they get down to Cameroon and at, uh, at that big stage, they should be able to give us the ticket to the World mm. Cup and then they have nothing to fear just go there, give Enjoy us victory, the game. and let us have that sense of belonging mm. again. Because these days, if you watch Super Eagles match, now you watch it with lack of interest. Mm. But uh, we want this team to build. But for, for some part. of us who are patriotic enough, we still watch the Super uh, Eagles. Uh, well, are, are you saying it's not patriotic? <laughs> well, I didn't say that. Well, Larry, did you know, <laughs> immediately you finish that match, you know where you normally end. Uh, Jerry, you know, I understand you. Know, you. Uh, Shame quickly. Well, the truth of the matter is, over, the, of time, over, so, over the years, the, mm. the passion for Super Eagles has really won. The performance of from so many Nigerians. I support three teams in the world. But with, with the recent, uh, uh, but what I discovered mm. is that every time mm. there's a competition, mm. the real competition, the you see everybody rising, rising up. So at this time around, we I'm hoping that the Eagles will go better, a step better than mm. what they did last sure, time. What I want to even bronze. ask you is that mm. five years down the line, General Rowe has been in charge, and we can't say this is our first eleven in this very match. Up to now, these two last two matches, there's a particular guy who plays in the oh, Belgian league, Paul Onoachi, yes, and Onoachi. that guy came from the bench and scored. And we have a particular Ian Acho who plays for Leicester, Leicester City, City, banging all the goals. Could it be that we are, we are not putting the right pegs in the right direction? Because I can't understand. If you have been, in the last couple of matches, they have scored about eight goals. You understand? And two matches now, I mean, well, um, two things when you trophy um, you know, uh, uh, matches, it's quality of players and then mm. quality of and the we coach. have those, we have that quality of yes, players. I think, I think to a good extent we have the players. Mm. I just do not trust the coaching, uh, hundred mm. percent, the okay. technical ability of Raw. I hope that he can learn from his previous errors. Mm. He's, he's made so many mistakes in the past. If not, we should be doing better. Mm. But in the last two matches, you see a bit of improvement in the coaching, okay. and let's hope that at the competition proper, okay. that's, that is really ca- able that's to January improve. next year. So, guys, mm. thank you so much. That's much we can take on this show. This Easter uh, holiday, the CI Prayer Weekly, right here on Lasso ninety five point seven Radio. I mean, you know, your solidly unique and um, lively radio station. So, guys. Your final bite before we call it a wrap. Well, for me, I just want to uh, urge us not to finish the chicken. Uh, Tuesday, we are coming and back. And those fish. <laughs> we are coming back to school on Tuesday. You do buy the fish. You should just roast them, bring it down, uh, bring them down to the CRPPR. Yeah, you know, buy fish. Keep on supporting Last Radio and keep on supporting Lagos State. Yeah, you know, buy fish. Well, uh, for me, I just <laughs> want to. Um, Continue to mm. plead the indulgence of every member of staff. Mm. The university management has put out messages for us to exercise some uh, level of uh, Caution, patience, okay, patience and, uh, and yes, uh, uh, regards to the issue of lights and uh, water. We'll sort, we are working it on is, it. We'll it is being worked on, and we hope that very, very soon mm. we'll, to, you know, we'll get over gosh. it. So, congratulations to every one of us for seeing this mm. Easter. And we pray that God is help us to see many more of it. Amen. Amen. Okay, from Amen. the acting vice chancellor and the university management, and all of us, the staff and students of Lagos University, uh, university want to say, and last two radio and say prayer weekly as well. Want to say happy, happy Easter, Easter celebration happy to everybody, Easter. whether you are a Christian or a Muslim. This is the time for all of us. But don't forget the reason for the season. Reflect and ensure that yeah, 
you are part of that peaceful atmosphere that can make our country and our state better than this. So, other than everybody, get your that is my name, but we'll not be living without giving you this fantastic music for the weekend and the Easter celebration. This one is called Nobody Find Pass You by T mm. Classics. Enjoy the break. Everybody, get your ready that Sign out on behalf of all of us, Kunli, Shion, uh, Jerry, and uh, Tio Dumo, and even our beautiful sister, Rodi Aye, who has come here to be part of this. God bless you. Have a great weekend. Bye. No matter where you go, remember the road that will lead you home. Juanita Mus. Juanita Mus. No matter where you go, remember the road that will lead you home. Juanita Mus. That will lead you That will lead you